Hey lovelies, it's Alexa with the Advent YouTube Hop again, and I am making a little snow globe with a cute little deer girl inside of there, a little fawn girl. And I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit of what I do. Um, I basically trace something to get my perfect circle because, you know, that's just ridiculous <laughs> trying to make a circle on your own. Um, and then I'm going to talk you through a little bit of how you sketch your face here. So this is kind of like sketching any normal face, but, um, we're just going to tweak a couple things. So number one, I wanted her to look a little youthful and I do this, whether I'm doing a girl, like a true, like a human girl or a deer girl, apparently <laughs> is I round the face more. So her head is pretty much, I started with just a basic circle and then I divided the face in half both ways. So in half from top to bottom and in half from um, left to right. And that is kind of how I found my guidelines. Her eyes, I did below the halfway point and I did them really wide um, and really big, right? I wanted her to have those big doe eyes and be really whimsical. And then the nose, I did just towards, um, kind of in between the eyes and the bottom of the face and I did not put a mouth. I do end up kind of putting a little tiny mouth for a minute and then I take it away because I didn't really like it. Um, but really pretty basic shapes um, for the body. I kept it really simple again. I did her neck and then shoulders and then straight lines down, then her skirt and then straight lines down for the legs as well. So nothing too crazy hard. Um, the ears can be a little tricky to get the right look. And for those, I always just think the bottom part just like swoops perfectly. The other, the top part kind of goes up and then it has a little bit of a dip right before it reaches the head. So um, if you're going from the outside of the ear in, you're going to go curve up and then back down and then almost back up a little bit as it meets the head. And that gives you that look. Um, and you can see I'm drawing her sitting on a little swing and this is going to be like the cutest little snow globe thing ever. So when you guys watch this, hopefully you're inspired to try something that you see, whether it be just creating a snow globe, um, piece of art and then putting whatever you want inside of it. Totally cool. If you like this little deer girl and you want to give her a go, I totally think you can. If you're not really great with drawing faces or haven't ever tried it, there are plenty of tutorials on how to do it, including on my own channel. But like I said, we are working with some really pretty simple shapes. So it's pretty attainable. Like don't feel intimidated by it. While it seems like it might be intimidating because it's like a face and a deer, but when you really break it down into those small bits of what shape and where it goes, it doesn't get too hard. You guys, you can totally do it. Um, but I would love it if you guys want to play along and make your own snow globe or make your own deer girl or whatever. <laughs> um, so I'm going to finish sketching her and then I am going to get out my watercolors. And today I have, you know, one of my favorites is my Arteza watercolors. And it's just because it's a full set, easy to come by. It, you know, it doesn't break the bank, but it's actually really great quality. So, um, I use those today, but you could use anything. The most basic watercolors would work. And you'll see I do quite a bit of layering for that. So I kind of go through and give a couple passes to get just some of those um, deeper parts and um, little dimension to the piece as a whole. And then I go in and paint the base of it and add some snowflakes and do my outlining and kind of call it a day. And then I end up with this super sweet, cute piece that totally gets me excited for Christmas. Um, anyway, I'm going to let you guys hang out and watch just with some music and hopefully get in the holiday spirit and maybe feel inspired to go create a snow globe in your art journal or create um, a piece that has this little darling dear fawn girl um, and I would love to see it so if you do make something share in the Facebook group I'll list it below if you're not a part of it definitely join but if not um, and you post on Instagram tag me so I can see it and share with the group as well 
And I know there are so many fun activities and crafts and art projects coming up for this U2 hop, and it's going to be so much fun. I have loved seeing what everyone's been making these last 12, 13 days. What day are we on? <laughs> um, on day 14 today. So, so this, you know, we're like halfway through, and it's so great. I've loved seeing everything you've made. So definitely keep with it, guys. Keep um, chugging along, making those projects having some artsy fun. It's such a relaxing thing this time of year when there's so much hustle and bustle going on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love a comment below. Subscribe if you already haven't. Um, it just helps with the support. We love it as artists to know that people are enjoying what we're doing. Um, and I will see you guys again soon.